This is awkward. <laughs> Good morning. I'm Clay. Gerald's supposed to be there. It's Friday, April 13th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Yeah, yeah. All right. Attention seniors, the senior class trip form and payment are due Monday, April 16th to Mr. Geyer in room 129 or Miss Lesagonix in room 101. Hey, there you hey are. freshmen, don't forget that your fundraiser, the Fantastic No Sub Sale, is currently taking place. Papers and money can be returned to Dr. Gambler in room 214 anytime. The sale will run through the 25th, so get those donations and get your money in today. I love no subs. They taste so good. <laughs> so delicious. You left me hanging out the dry, man. Sorry, Clay. Every day, perfectly good food is being wasted in the school cafeteria, but there is a solution. One problem is that people don't know about the Share Center. You know, the giant fridge in the cafe by all the food lines and the snack bar? But Mrs. Berkey's culinary classes are working hard to solve this problem, but they need your help. If you know what what can be shared, try to use it more often, and not and you, and if you're not sure, ask around or help someone who hasn't who hasn't used it. It only takes a few seconds to keep in, your unwanted shareable items from ending up in a landfill. Stay tuned for more updates on the Share Center and look for look out for items in the Share Center that are shareable. I'm sorry. Give it a try. This announcement is for any student who has taken an AP exam and still owes a balance for their test fees. Please stop by the counseling office and drop off your payment ASAP, Seth. As final payments are due by today, Friday, April 13th. I feel targeted. There it is again. <laughs> if you have any questions, please see Mrs. Ditzler. Reminder to seniors who have applied for the Effort of National Bank Hipschman Scholarship that signups are now available through the Class of 2018 Schoology page. The deadline to sign up and reserve your interview slot is today, so if you haven't done that, you might want to get to your spot before they're all gone. Attention seniors, the senior class trip form and payment are due Monday. Monday, Monday. to Mr. Geyer in room 129 or Mrs. Azaganis in room 101. Monday, now over to Eves with the news. You know, the dishonest media, they'll say... Ah! President Trump told farm state lawmakers yesterday, Seth, is that you? Farmers! Uh, he'd like to sign the U.S. back to the Trans-Pacific Partnership, causing much turmoil within conservative groups. Trump pulled out of the TPP a mere three days into office, saying that it was a great thing for the American worker. Today is the birthday of third President Thomas Jefferson. Also notable for drafting a Declaration of Independence, Jefferson was one of the most important and influential founding fathers. If you only know him from the musical Hamilton, you might see him as a villain, but in reality, he was a very good president and could be seen as flexible in office and progressed our country in plenty of ways. He strengthened the Navy, and of course, through the Louisiana Purchase, he nearly doubled the size of America. Thanks to Jeff. Now over to the couch with the lunch. You left again. Had to fix some stuff. Sorry, guys. Today for lunch we have macaroni and cheese with whole grain roll and margarine. Bread and chicken patty on whole grain roll. Pepperoni calzone. Ham, turkey, cheese, flatbread. Chicken Caesar salad. Stewed tomato sauce. Seasoned green beans. Fresh cauliflower with dip. Applesauce. Fresh fruit. Slushy. 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 Here sports. What's up, Befferda? In sports resorts, boys lacrosse lost to Penn Manor, boys volleyball lost to E-Town, girls lacrosse lost to Penn Manor, and softball played at Exeter. 
Today in sports, baseball is home versus Mannheim Township. Tennis takes on E-Town at home, and softball is away at Mannheim Township. Now, back to Gerald and Clay at the main desk or couch. There are still a few tickets available for Beauty and the Beast tonight. You can purchase tickets at the box office before the show begins. Tomorrow's show starts at 3 o'clock, but it's the last one, so be my guest. Uh, our guest. Our guest. Got him. Attention students of Effort High School, if you are interested in running for student council, please stop down to Mr. Marzark's room and pick up your petition. Only six members are allowed or are selected to become representatives of the student council per grade to represent our student body. And since you represent <laughs> our school and student body, bless you, Ethan. Oh, thank you. We will need to hold elections for those positions. To qualify, you will need to stop down and pick up your petition from Mr. Marzak in room 137. You'll need to collect 25 signatures from students in your grade only or your petition will be void. Next, you will need to ask a teacher or an administrator at the Ephrata High School for a recommendation basically saying that you would be a great leader, hard worker, and would represent our school well. But you can't ask Mr. Marzak, Mrs. Ushman, or Senior Cirillo no, no, because no. they are the student council advisors, but you can ask Mr. Jeremy Bischoff <laughs> for that recommendation <laughs> today. <laughs> Elections will be held on Friday, April 20th. So stop down to Mr. Marzok and get your petitions and teacher recommendations turned in by today. Today. It's due today, so you should do that. And in case you missed it, the last two times we said this, seniors, the senior class trip form and payment are due Monday. 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 What day? Monday. What day? Monday. What day? Monday. 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 To Mr. Guy right. in room 129 or Mrs. Lasaganis in room 101. Credits. That's it. Roll credits. Roll credits.